What's up, Scrollers? It's Nerf here, and today we're gonna do a ranked match. Uh, first ranked match video since Echoes came out. So I have been playing a bunch of ranked. The uh, the current ranking has me at number 17. I was at number like five this morning or something, uh, but I lost a bunch of matches. I was at like 17.40 and now I'm down to like 16.80. But that's all right. I've been playing Automaton Energy. I think this is the exact same deck without any changes as it did in that video of me playing on the test server uh, probably a week ago or something. It's not as good as I thought. I thought it was gonna be like maybe best deck in the meta or at least one of the best I mean it probably is one of the best but I'm winning almost all my matches but it's just losing a bit too many um, I'm going to keep the starting hand definitely now that I draw that Scott Amazon I have a 1 I have a 2, 3, 4, 5 play I'll get rid of the power chip it doesn't look like I'll be needing it early on another nice removal thing yeah so I've been losing a few games really all factions uh, late game growth has got me a game or two. Um, Poison decays can beat me. It just doesn't feel like as fast and aggressive as, as I thought it would be. Uh, although the attacks can get really high with the Excogitator and all the scout automatons, um, it doesn't seem like I'm able to destroy the idols very fast. Maybe it's because Bombard doesn't affect all the creatures that can destroy automaton. I might experiment with battle experiment with battle dance in here. So he played a two drop before I did. That's a little annoying. Uh, what do I sacrifice here? I can keep the six so I can go straight up, or should, or should keep the potency burst so I can just take something out, whatever he plays. I think I'd rather keep the potency burst. Cannonauton is like you get him out if you can, but he's not crucial. Like I feel like I'm more controlling the games instead of being aggressive and filling the board lately. So. Likely he's going to die to this and it's just going to be a 2 drop for 2 drop trade. I really like Cancer Automaton. He really is almost like a Royal Spearman for one less cost. Almost. Because he only does the damage when he dies. But many things would be able to destroy it. There's a Wing Shield. So now I have a bit of... Uh, Something a bigger, a bigger burn target. I will sacrifice my second count on Amazon. Don't love doing that, but I really like the rest of my hand. And I'll play the Scout Auto right in front, just because I don't want this to be bothered. I know. What are you thinking, Nerp? Uh, why would he bother bothering that when he would lose his guy anyways? I don't know. I think because I want to get the burn on this, and then possibly use him to attack for three or two if this thing dies to the creature behind which is hopefully this or something else that would die to it also potency burst is another turn four play for energy now that will deal three uh magic damage expedition guard so i'm not going to have an attack to destroy that but i uh ooh, what do i sacrifice here this is tough sack um, I guess Candor Sardo, although I want to keep those against the order, it's probably the right play. Yeah, goodbye, and goodbye, all right, and I got a Replicathon. Replicathon might be one of the first scrolls that's kicked out of this deck uh, when I, when I revise it. I just don't see myself using it much. I kind of want to use all my energy. Not sure if I need to replace it with another creature, another spell, I don't know. He moves up, so what does he have, like a plus in the face or something to destroy this guy? I assume so, because I doubt he'd leave him in the front there. I can just kill him. Maybe yeah, we'll see a blessing of haste on the wing soldier or the ex expedition guard. Expedition guard looks pretty good. Three drop, four health, always a good thing. Where's the item? Your roasted bean potion. I would like a. Oh, he does have busting face. Now I would like uh, what are that guy's name? The uh, wind up automaton, because then I can just go up and 
haste him down for one damage. I will. Although Excogitator can really do a lot for you, I don't think I'll have time to really let it sit there against Tempo Order. I'd rather just go right into it, so I'm going to play the Replicas on, although I won't have two energy left over. It's still okay, and I'll just use the Potency Burst to take him out. So Potency Burst, I really love its versatility. Just, it can be a Valent Dispersal if you have enough energy, or it could just be a little spark kind of thing. Alright. Um... So, we don't really care if he plays like a big powerful creature because we have a potency burst to take care of it. Maybe we'll say a Ducal Skirmisher, maybe a Wings Captain. But there are two creatures attacking me next turn. Uh, I will get rid of the Echomaton for scrolls. Although Echomaton is really nice against order decks because so many uh, little spells are played. Its attack gets huge and you'll get energy when it dies. Um, potency burst this turn is too good of a play because I can get rid of the 4 drop and then I can kill one of you. And I'll put you in the front because I don't want to see a Pothers. Because then uh, I hit the replicas on to die. I mean, Pothers still has an 80% chance of working. And I don't have any uh, energy left over because of all the surge. I, I needed all the surge value, though. Uh, because that Wing Shield, Wings Captain, had 4 health. So now play your uh, Grounds of the Fallen. I have a Stun Enigma waiting. Stun Enigma I added to the. I like in the deck because there's a lot of. Lingering spells now in the game, and people like to use them. But I haven't been getting too lucky with it. Every time it feels like I have it is when they're not playing lingering spells. Um, I'll get rid of the Sun Enigma now. Just watch; he's gonna play Grounds of the Fallen next turn. Um, pretty easy play here. I know what I'll do. I'll just play Copper all the time. A Probably should have actually. No, that's fine. Actually, yeah, I'll protect you. I'll protect the thing with the five attack, but he can destroy anything with any kind of haste. I have a bombard, so I can get this uh, replicaton to attack. Replicaton, and then I have a thunder surge this coming turn. Probably not going to be played though. Because that that uh, copper auto doesn't need any help with any damage. Let's see what the Overlord does. Wait, I just realized we're playing against the Overlord. Well, we have a formidable opponent here. Um. Yeah, it goes up to five. Let's see what other Echo Scrolls the Overlord is playing besides Expedition Guard. I think that's all we've seen so far from Echoes on his side. Expedition Guard really gets a high attack. Okay, so he's good. Oh, he's just gonna run away. Interesting. Okay. I mean, not too bad because I'm losing the scrawl. I mean, he does do 5 damage, but still. I guess I should have had this copper auto in this spot so that he can't run away with, like, run away with, like, that. But I don't really care because I actually, um, didn't lose any of these guys then. Uh, okay, I'll just bombard because I can clear the board. And just run out of Destroy an idle while I'm at it. This guy before he does more, more idle damage. Looking. Uh oh. The stupid bug is still here where there's two music, two uh, songs going on as rolls at the same time when you click out of the window. Turn this off, and then go back and turn it back on. Forgive me if the sound's too loud, I'm gonna load it a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's get the Excogitator out. And 
May as well try to engage a little bit. And now I can just kind of ramp up and keep pumping up this exaggerated because all my creatures will get higher attack uh, with the scout automatons. It's wise to put your excogitator like maybe like where I put it up here top right because then you could pump it and you know that your scout automaton will be spawned before any of your creatures attack because it follows the attack order. So I like the first time I played a game with this deck on the live server, I made the mistake of having it down here. And uh, I pumped it and then it didn't and then I got the scout on top at the end of the turn. And that's annoying. The Overlord playing that now. Um, both of those scrolls actually. Oppressor's rolled is a new Echo Scroll. Uh, no enchantments, but I can't really move with these guys now. They'll just hit nothing. Uh, I'll get rid of the Excogitator here because it's unique and I would destroy this one. I actually made that mistake a couple matches ago and I played more than one. I can play you and have you with haste and you'll deal 2 damage. I don't think that's the best choice. I think it's better to just double pump here. Um, rather than play these guys. Alright. I could have just like single pumped so you don't... So then I get you back in my hand when you die. But I kind of just want to get those guys out, those scout automatons out as fast as possible to replace the one that's going to die. And we don't really even know if that uh, replicaton is going to die. Alright, let's get the other stone enigma. I think I have two in the deck unless I sacrifice the other one. Yes, yeah, so this guy does survive now. Uh, Thunder Surge not really going to do well when the second rounds of the fall on is out. But I might still play it. Nah, I'm going to get rid of it. Actually, I got rid of the replicates on. And I'm going to double pump again. What I want to do is get a lot of scout automatons out. And then have this wind up as automaton maybe attack next turn. Because you can deal. Because the wind up automaton can deal quite a bit of damage with haste, especially when there's uh, scout automatons on the board. And again, I'm set up in front of uh, an open idol here, so you can go with another oppressor's rule, which would kind of hurt. I don't have a. Uh, any extra energy for that replicaton to survive on, unfortunately. But he needs to pay a scroll to destroy it. More than one scroll, probably. I could have just stayed a little higher and maybe gone for a quick lethal next turn. Would it, would it have worked if I played another scout auto next turn? You would have six, you can go up there. Yeah, I think it would. Or he is able to. Alright, big turn for Dolverlord there, kinda destroys a lot of my stuff. I'm still ahead of him in like resources and all that though. I will I think I should just get rid of this while I can, right? Or no, he's not attacking this turn, so I'll just hold off. I'm going to sacrifice Thunder. I will double pump still. I wanna get as much as I can out of this uh Excogitator before it gets taken out. And I'm just going to play you down here because I want to be able to take out some things. I know I'm going to be able to destroy this with a potency burst if I need to. Although it leaves you open to a blessing of haste, at least you would have to pay a blessing of haste. And one for one trades, one scroll for one scroll trades, uh, I'm okay with making because I have more resources than him at this point. So I can get you up to probably five attack next turn, that uh, little wind up guy down there. A little wind up guy, pretty good. Is this the tier 3 one that I got from the pack? Nope, it isn't. You haven't seen the video yesterday. One of the bonus scrolls in the pack, a tier 3 wind up automaton. Must have been one of the uh, best gets of the day. Moving up to the middle, so that makes me feel safe about this guy. He won't be destroyed. Uh. So I'll need to have six energy to destroy that with a potency burst. Which means I can make you attack. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just grab the phone here. 
try to muzzle the sound for a second. Okay. So, I can go to 9, play the, uh, pump you down so you have 4 attack to destroy this, and then I could deal 2 damage to that. Is that what I want? Oh, I have a scout auto too. Hmm. No, but I need to pump you, that's the thing. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to do that anyways. I'll sacrifice the Solemn Giant. Oh, I probably should have sacrificed the Scout Auto. Whoops. Whoopsies. I will do that. Then I will do that. I need to have a little extra there because of the Grounds of the Fallen. And I'll let you die. And I'll deal two damage to you up here because I can probably finish you off with the Scout Automaton. Alright. So, good turn. I kind of wish I kept that Solemn Giant in my hand. That was kind of a stupid sacrifice. Solemn Giant, once you get to like 9 or 10 resources, really can have huge turns for you, but I accidentally sacrificed it. So he'll be able to kill my dude down here. I'm still relatively uh, safe in this game. He's tempo order, so he would have liked to deal more idle damage than destroy my creatures early on. So not too bad, not too bad. His Grounds of the Fallen is about to end. Another good thing. Hmm. So he has to just get more creatures down faster than I can destroy them and just keep picking with idols. So Roller Ross is a good start. Yeah, you see, this is where I really could use a Psalm Giant. That hurts. I really wanted to keep using that, uh, using that thing. At least I'll be able to destroy that, uh, wing shield with no contest. Uh, wind up automaton. That's going to deal three damage. I can make it deal four if I play a scout automaton. Right? Screw it. I'm not gonna sacrifice this turn. Might come back to haunt me, but having this wind up auto right here. Uh, can really help because now I can, I can have him attack every turn for like three or four damage. Next turn, maybe can destroy this royal skirmisher. So I did not sacrifice that turn. I think it was worth it. He was my form of my solemn giant. There is a wound shield. Many people. Infantryman. So, yeah, this. I kind of like that I played this wind up on this turn. If he stays in the middle row like this, I'm able to destroy the wing shield and the ducal infantryman uh, very easily. Power trip, is there a point in me power tripping? Sure, why not? So I'll go like this. I can just. So I'll destroy you. Destroy you. You'll have three attack. Uh, unf unfortunate. But that's alright. I guess I didn't really need the power trip, did I? And I'll just put the cannon auto in the middle. So I can have both of these scout automatons threaten the entire board. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be able to come back against this. All the armor on the field, attack on the field. So if he gives me a chance to catch my breath before, uh, and stops putting all the creatures, I'll be able to win pretty quickly. Didn't have to use an Ekmaton yet, and he's just gonna surrender. He doesn't seem stuck coming back, so GGWP to the Overlord, and yay! We got the cool new thing with Echoes. Sometimes when you end matches, you get a scroll. And that's something cool. And Oakbla, that's very good. It's a rare card. I'm not sure, can you get tiered cards from this? That would be cool. So, yay! Back over 1700. And that'll be it for today, so if you want to use that deck, it will be, uh, pasted in the description of this video. I might alter it soon though. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow me on Twitch because I'll start streaming on Twitch very soon. And like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content and I will see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.